and that period of history is the New Testament period of history. And God the Holy Spirit is the sanctifier who comes after God the Son to give us grace to sanctify us as we go through life. And that's the period of history that's after the New Testament period of history, including up to the present time. So we know that we can at least say that uh, this could be. We, we cannot really fully understand it, yet we know that it's possible for this to exist as well. Three persons are each separate and distinct. Each have their own role and their own title. Each one is God, and there's only one God. We know that this great mystery of our faith is a, is a common prayer that we say. We say that the, the prayer to the Blessed Trinity, every time we say a prayer, you get up in the morning, you say your morning prayer. You, know, you start every name off with it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And you end every prayer. You say it the same at Mass. So it says so often, so common, we kind of take it for granted. But it's a great mystery of our faith. In one way, we can kind of look at it by saying, thinking of those in religious life, uh, priests who take vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, we can attribute poverty to, to God the Father, that God the Father is going to take care of us and watch over us and provide for us as we go through life. God the Son we can attribute chastity to, that God the Son Jesus is going to help us to live a good, good holy life. And then God the Holy Spirit is the sanctifier, he's going to give us the graces to help us to live holy life and relating out to others, doing the best we can to live out our Christian life the way that God wants us by relating to other people. So we know that at least it's not an impossibility that this can exist. In the one God that there are three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we're blessed to be able to accept this with faith, and we thank God for the wonderful gift that we have of having a God in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We can reflect and think about that as we go home tonight, this wonderful mystery of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.